is a reflection, it's called Home Under Lockdown, a reflection on uh, what all the feelings are that can rise up in one, from sometimes from very distant past times, um, um, when the present gets a little hard. Home. When you can't go home, you wake and wonder where home is, or was, or what stops you. Twelve-year-old in a too big uniform, stepping onto the train that will take you to boarding school, months away from home, and your parents and brothers and the dog, and waking in your familiar room with the window in its right place, and your mother in the kitchen making breakfast. With that moving train, that journey repeated over years, did you give it away for a lifetime, the fact of home? A family around a table, how you love and long for it. Even quarrels with the people you belong to. Home-cooked food, clothes that are yours, the right to be alone. In this new time, 65 years on, I can today wake in a panic, asking, where am I? America. And you, my newfound land, asleep beside me. Home in the home we've made, while the other, the longed for, the impossible, can hover close at times, like this, the house gone, the dear people dead. Only the copper beach left. My brother looked on Google Earth, he said, now grown enormous, roots deep in earth and branches to the sky, to say, I was, I am, and I will be. Feeling waking up in hotel rooms and things yes. where I don't know where I am, yes. and oh, you know, it's a real hotel room feeling, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And everything's in the wrong place, yes. yeah, yeah. It sometimes seems to take ages to get to realize where you are, yeah, it's strange. Go, Ben, okay, rise, rise. I promise to never look again into a person's eyes, see pain, and do nothing about it, and so I was looking and came face to face with the gentle magnetic eyes of a master of this. He gave me a gift. He let me see what he was doing as he entreated me to his game of uplifting souls. His mission to uplift each and every soul he came in contact with and to leave them feeling better somehow with a sense of validation, having been fully seen and regarded and acknowledged for their purpose. He said the greatest gift he could give anyone was the encouragement to meditate. Be still and rise. Mm. Let's hear it, Me? Patty. Okay. Funny or one last more serious one? Funny? Serious. Okay, serious. <laughs> okay. Introduce yourself again in case I cut the clips. This is Patty Tiffany, and this poem is de dedicated to my beloved friend, my sister of the heart, who is still filling the world with sweet song and hope, as Joni Mitchell once did. My walk with Joni. Forget the lateness, the dark hallway, sweet spring sweet breeze, open window. You were singing to me, to us, to a world shedding the gentle, to struggle with a future where no sound so sweet, no vision so clear, so sharp could hold us. In a melody and embrace of art and music and dreams, of butterflies once bombers, hands held in a last circle of happy hope, that two friends and their love could outlast the onslaught of heartless information droning the hours, stealing our senses, outer layers taken, touch gone away. We long for your music, begging Alexa, please play us Woodstock 
one more time. <laughs> <laughs> going to end on an up note. I love this poet song. No, I like Driftwood Voyage better. This, I'm Alan Meese. This is Driftwood Voyage, an ode to a piece of driftwood cast onto a sunny beach in Stock Island. The music will not last, but driftwood will drift until God finds the beach. Drifting along, it doesn't blow the wind and it doesn't set the current and it doesn't even know where its journey will end. But it goes God's way, becoming more beautiful as the splinters wear away. And now your ocean voyage long over. Roots are dry and warm. Roots from the earth torn, leaving one great footprint in the turf of yesterday. Cast to the wave, you left your grave, but you found your freedom born. It's about changes. Don't regret them. Thank you. It's been a wonderful meeting. The 43rd year of unbroken chain of Key West Poetry Guild reading since it was established in 1977. Thank you and stay healthy.